Hey folks, welcome back to the Cotswold Collectibles YouTube channel. My name is Greg Brown, president and owner of Cotswold Collectibles. Um, this week we're going to be talking about the uh, third and final of our um, deluxe um, Elite Brigade sets that we have uh, out and in stock right now. Um, this one is called Search for the Lost Satellite. This set is going, is, excuse me, this set has taken a, has taken a, a vintage adventure team vibe to it. Um, so we're going to have, we have artwork that is original by David Howard, which we'll show a little bit later. And um, it basically, it's, bas it's in short, it's it encompasses everything Adventure Team. It has a mission for the adventurer or the explorer, and it has a menacing type of animal or insect or something that's coming after them. So, but let's go ahead and dig into the set right now. Yeah. With every one of these deluxe sets, we, we, we have an Elite Brigade figure. Um, this particular one, um, has the uh, the brown flocked hair. Um, there will not be a set standard for these. Some will have uh, brown flocked hair, blonde flocked hair, black flocked hair, red flocked hair. The other ones will have be the Ray figure, which is the African American um, uh, adventurer figure that we have. Um, they will come outfitted in our custom sewn camo desert camouflage shirt and shorts, with socks, short brown boots, and a and a brown holster and a pistol. So you basically you get that. What's really nice is we kind of want to, we wanted to borrow from the French Foreign Legion set that Action Man did. So we actually have our, our tan cap, but then we have the Kepi cover. And then what you do is you just fit that on there and it fits snugly on and then you fit it on your figure like that. So we basically borrowed, borrowed from the, the Action Man French Foreign Legion set. Also included with the set, brown backpack, brown belt, LaBelle pistol, which goes into the holster that we talked about earlier. Compass that really functions just like the real one. Folding E-Tool. And then the centerpiece of the set, the Lost Satellite. Now, the Lost Satellite, the way that this got started was we were speaking to uh, custom maker Jim Egner uh, here of Texas, who does a lot of 3D printing. And we uh, saw a picture that Jim had done where he incorporated the as you can recognize here, the, the satellite piece that comes with or came with um, the mobile support vehicle. And I think it came with another set, I can't remember. But it, it always looked kind of weird. In fact, it always looked like a robot head to me more than anything. Well, Jim took that concept and what he did is he made it into an entire satellite. So he took the component here, 3D printed it, did the solar arrays, 3D printed it, then added the other components. So that this is basically how this set started out was the lost satellite. The basic storyline is that the satellite falls out of orbit and crashes into a desert area and the explorer is, is tasked with trying to find it. So there's this piece and it's very well crafted by Jim Egner. Then of course you have to have your, your nemesis and we have the uh, black scorpion. You know, you have your pygmy gorillas, you have your, your yetis, you have your um, crocodiles, you have your squids. We had a scorpion and the basic storyline with it was is that the, there was some radiation that was leaking from <clears throat> from the from the satellite no, not leaking emanating from the satellite and it basically made this scorpion you know 10 times bigger. As with all of the new sets that are coming out, we also included <clears throat> the story the, to, to create the adventure field, the search for the lost satellite. Um, so it basically explains the backstory of you know of the story that's going on with the explorer and why he's there and what he's looking for and such like that full color and everything like that we include it in every set last but not least is the packaging um, we really like this packaging again it's an homage to the um the the sear sets you know the machine gun emplacement the ford observer set and such like that that we were going like what if hasbro was making these for sears and this is one of the sets so we have the search for the lost satellite box set that explains all the components that come with it uh, original work by david howard who, who works for cotswold and full color and everything else and just a really good quality box really great you can pack you know you put it on display with your figure and everything else like that just kind of pays an homage to the 1970s sets but this was a fun set to create um, it was near and dear to my heart because I love Adventure Team. I love the the, the adventurous um, atmosphere built around each set. I love the animals and such like that. It was it was real fun to create, and um, that's why we had to add it. We've been working on this set for a couple of years, and we finally got it to market. 
and um, it's been selling out really fast. We're only, as with the other sets, we're only doing 20 of these, and I think we've already sold 10 of them. Um, and like I said, you can either get a choice of Jake with flocked here, or you can get Ray with flocked here if you want to. You just have to, when you place the order, you have to put it into the notes, and we take care of it. But anyway, that's the last of our deluxe sets that we're going to be talking about. Um, Next week, we'll probably will start talking about um, the Joy Toy sets that have just come in. We just got them in from China. Uh, just to rehash, Joy Toy is a company in Asia that manufactures 118th scale action figures and uh, accessories and weapons and such like that. Um, the recent foray into uh, Warhammer, into the Warhammer mythos, um, they, they just made a really big leap into that. And so we'll be talking about some of the Warhammer pieces as well as some of the other pieces that came in. So until then, make sure that you like, subscribe and comment uh, down below and uh, we'll see you next week.